Hello, friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. I am very fired up about this tournament. I'm glad you're with me. This is our replay of the WBC, the World Baseball Classic Tournament. We are in pool play, which you'll understand more in just a minute if you haven't been with me. Uh, we are in game or pool A that you can see on this paper here. Canada is 1-0. Puerto Rico is 1-0. The United States is 0-2. And, and Mexico is 1-1. One one. Well, today, because the USA and Mexico have played their second games, it's time for the second game between Can or the second game of the pool play for Canada and Puerto Rico. Now, both teams have won one contest so far. The Canadians beat the United States in their first game 4-3, to three, and Puerto Rico beat Mexico 9-5. to five. Pool play is only three games. You play your other three opponents in, in the pool that you are in one time. And then we're going to have the top three teams go on to the playoffs. I'll explain more about that in a future video. But... But today's a big day because one of these teams is going to clinch a playoff spot. The winner of this team of this game between Canada and Puerto Rico will advance, will have two wins, and that means that they will clinch a playoff berth. It may mean, well, it definitely means actually that the winner will be have a chance to go undefeated in pool play, which would give them a first round slot in the playoffs. So there's a lot on the line here between these two teams. Now, when Canada beat the United States, that was an upset. When Puerto Rico beat Mexico, I would say Puerto Rico was a slight favorite in that game, so I won't call it an upset. But uh, it was a hard-fought game between those two clubs. So let's talk about pitchers in today's game. Uh the pitcher for Team Canada will be right-hander Cal Quantrill, who I believe was a Blue Jay. I should have looked this up, but I think he was a Blue Jay. Might have been a Padre as well. Uh, and he'll be opposed by left-hander Hector Santiago uh, for the Puerto Rican team. And he was a California or a Los Angeles Angel not sure if he was with another club or not. Might have been with the Twins. Uh, so it's Quantrill against Santiago. Canada at Puerto Rico. Let's get to today's starting lineups. All of the purchase information for the cards you're about to see. I created these with Chris White. Uh, and they're available from Chris for $81 shipped. You get 28 players per team, 8 teams 28 players per team for 81 dollars shipped to your door you also get these envelopes that chris has created there's canada's envelope and here is the envelope for puerto rico the players on these teams represent the five teams that have been in the world baseball classic as you see at the bottom they're all-time stars 2006 2009 2013 2017 and 2023. If you look at the top of each card, you can see the year that this particular player played for that club. So for instance, Carlos Correa will be playing this March for Puerto Rico at shortstop, unless he pulls out, but I don't think he's going to. All right, here, and you get on the back side, you get these logos that Chris has designed and the card stock on these cards is first rate as well. All right, so here's the lineup for Team Canada. Russell Martin leads off, he'll catch. Joey Votto bats second, he'll play first base. Jason Bay bats third, he'll play center. Freddie Freeman bats fourth, he'll be the DH. Michael Saunders bats fifth, he'll be in right field. Mark Tayen will bat sixth, he'll be in left. Corey Kosky will play third. He'll bat seventh. Charles LeBlanc bats eighth. He'll be the second baseman. And Pete Orr bats ninth. He'll be at short. On the mound, it's Cal Quantrill. He's a B-grade pitcher. 
with a Z modifier, a right-hander. All right, for Team Puerto Rico, Carlos Correa bat leads off at short. Angel Pagan bats second. He'll play center field. Carlos Beltran bats third. He'll be in right. Carlos Delgado bats fourth. He's the DH. Yadi Molina will bat fifth. He's the catcher. Ivan Rodriguez will bat uh, sixth. He's going to play first base in this game. David DeJesus bats seventh. He'll be in left. Javi Baez bats eighth. He'll be the second baseman. And Jose Hernandez bats ninth. He'll play third. On the mound, it's Hector Santiago. He's a C-grade pitcher with no modifiers. He pitched for Puerto Rico in 2017. And talk about defense. Canada has 36 defense points. That makes them a fielding two. Puerto Rico has 37, so they are also a fielding two. If you see these numbers down the margin... That's just a reminder to me of how many points they get. It makes substitutions easier or something. I'm just trying out and see how I like. All right, here we go. Santiago facing Russell Martin. And we are going to move this up here so you can see the cards a little bit better. There we go. All right. And I think we got a little too much glare, so we'll try that as well. Yeah, I think that's better. All right, here we go. Russell Martin facing Santiago. And Martin takes that one for ball one. The next delivery from Hector Santiago is ball four. So Martin starts off the game for Team Canada, drawing a walk. And it brings up Joey Votto. Purchase information for all these cards is in the description for this video, as is information about... Channel membership. With channel membership on my channel, you get discounts on the secondary store, access to members-only videos, and last but not least, a free gift from me every month. Santiago facing Vado. He lifts it to right. Under this one is Carlos Beltran, and he's going to make the catch for out number one. And there's one out and one on for Team Canada. With Jason Bay, the hero of game one, coming up. Freddie Freeman on deck. And the delivery is popped up. Yadi Molina is under it. He throws away the mask and makes the catch for out number two. Here's Freeman with Russell Martin still at first. Starting pitchers in the WBC, I am limiting to four innings. Relievers without an asterisk, I'm limiting to three innings. Everybody else can go two. The delivery to Freeman is going to be swung on by Freddie and bounced to third. That's Jose Hernandez. He's going to fire to Ivan Rodriguez, and that will retire Team Canada in inning number one. We go to the bottom of the first with no score. Huge game. Playoff clinching on the line here. Quantra will face Correa, Pagan, and Beltran in inning number one. Quantra kicks and deals, and a base hit chopped on the infield, an infield hit for Carlos Correa and his bad ankle. It seems like every article I'm reading about Correa on the internet now, have you heard about the internet, uh, is about his bad ankle and how awful his ankle is. And I keep wondering if these doctors are bound by HIPAA laws or is that just something, I don't know. Quantrill to Pagan is swung on by Pagan and a base hit to right field. Correa is gonna go to third. Saunders throw comes into second base. Puerto Rico has runners at the corners now for Beltran. Double play depth for Canada's infield. Quantrill, the stretch, the pitch to Beltran. Is going to be a base hit just over shortstop. Past Pete Orr's glove and into left field. 
That will score Correa with the first run of the game. Stopping at second is Pagan. And it continues for Puerto Rico. They scored nine runs in their first game. And they're off to a good start here. Here's Delgado. Quantrill the stretch and the delivery to Carlos Delgado is ball two. The next pitch. Hey, struck him out. One gone in the Puerto Rico first inning. Yadi Molina now. Double play depth for that Canadian infield. Quantrill the stretch and the delivery to Molina is ball two. Quantrill the, the stretch one more time and the delivery to Molina. And that's going to be a base hit. Goes to left field. Drops in front of Tian. They are going to wave Pagan home. And Angel Pagan will score easily. Stopping at second is Beltran. It's 2 nothing. Here comes Ivan Rodriguez. David DeJesus is on deck. Team Canada is going to get the bullpen going. They want this game. Uh, and it's going to be... Boy. It's going to be Jesse Crane. Don't call him Denny. That makes him cranky. Jesse Crane starts to throw in Canada's bullpen. Quantrill the stretch. The pitch to Ivan Rodriguez. And that is going to be... Bounce to third. Koski's got it. He goes to LeBlanc for one in the relay to Votto. In time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing, inning-ending, and around the horn, 5-4-3 double play turned by Team Canada. But Puerto Rico gets two runs in the first inning on four hits. We go to the second. It's Puerto Rico two and Canada nothing. Santiago comes out to face Saunders, Tan, and Koski in inning number two. Santiago kicks and deals. And it's a comebacker from Saunders to Santiago. He takes a couple steps toward Rodriguez at first and throws him the ball for out number one. Here's Mark Tian. Koski on deck. The pitch to Tian is ball four. He walked him. Second walk for Santiago. One out, one on for Team Canada. And here's Corey Koski. Santiago, the stretch, the pitch to Koski is going to be hit to third base. And Hernandez is going to fire to Baez for one. The relay to Rodriguez is late. Koski beats the rap at second, but... Tian is retired 5-4 on the fielder's choice. And here's Charles LeBlanc. Santiago the stretch, the delivery to LeBlanc, and it's hit to left. David DeJesus in left center is going to run it down, and he's got it for out number three. So Team Canada gets another base runner, but they cannot move him along. We go to the bottom of the second. It's Puerto Rico 2, Canada nothing. De Jesus, Baez, and Hernandez coming for Team Puerto Rico in the second. Quantrill kicks and deals. David De Jesus lifts this one to left. Mark Tan is under it, and he's got it for out number one. Javi Baez comes to the plate. Jose Hernandez on deck. The delivery is a hanger to Baez. He can make you pay, and this one's going to get in the gap. It splits Tan and Bay, and Baez will cruise into second with a double. One out and one on for Puerto Rico with Jose Hernandez coming to the plate. 
Starting to throw again in the Team Canada bullpen is Jesse Crane. Quantrill, the stretch, the pitch to Hernandez is a ground ball to short. This is Pete Orr. And he's going to catch it on the fly for out number two. That will bring to the plate Carlos Correa with two outs and a man in scoring position. Pagan would be next. Quantrill the stretch and the pitch to Correa is popped up on the infield dirt. It's Pete Orr, and he's got it for out number three. Quantrill escapes further damage in the second. We go to the third. Puerto Rico two and Canada nothing. The winner of this game clinches a playoff spot. They do not clinch first place. That will come later, depending upon what happens in the next round of games. But they do clinch a playoff spot for sure. And the loser is still going to be in there for the playoff spot. They just don't clinch today. Santiago will face Orr, Martin, and Votto in the third. The pitch, a hanger to Pete Orr. And that one is going to be a base hit to right field. Collecting that one is Beltran. He throws it back in. Russell Martin comes to the plate. He takes the first pitch, and there goes Orr. Molina's throw down to Javi Baez is late, and Pete Orr slides in with a stolen base. Man at second with nobody out. Santiago the stretch, the delivery to Martin. Is bounced to short. That's Correa. He cuts it off from going up the middle. And fires to Rodriguez. Look at Orr. Orr is trying to score. Rodriguez turns and fires home to Molina. And that will not be in time. Orr slides in with a headfirst dive. And it's 2-1 Puerto Rico. Orr advances two bases on the ground out. Joey Votto comes up now. Team Canada going nuts in their dugout. Here is Santiago to Votto. Popped up. Yadi Molina throws away the mask and makes the catch for out number two. Jason Bay now. Santiago kicks and deals to the Canadian center fielder. That's ball four. Brings up Freddie Freeman with two outs and a man at first. Michael Saunders would be next. We're in the third. Puerto Rico two, Canada one. The pitch from Santiago is ground ball to short. That's Correa. He's going to go the short way to Baez, and that will retire Team Canada in the third. Now, we have an injury on the field. It's our first one in the tournament. And Jason Bay is injured. He is injured two games. And that's going to be a problem for Team Canada. So, we got to figure out a sub. Let's take a look at Team Canada's bench. Uh, Josh Naylor could go in, Aaron Guile, Tyler O'Neill, Jacob Robson, and Matt Stairs. Hmm. Well, they're going to go with Naylor, and they're going to shift Tayen to center field. And Naylor will take over in left. And that will drop their defense to a 37, 35. So they'll be a fielding three. 
Jason Bay is done for the next couple of games. And we go to the bottom of the third with your score, Puerto Rico 2 and Canada 1. Cal Quantrill will face Pagan, Beltran, and Delgado in inning number three. Quantrill kicks and deals to Pagan. Pagan swings and hits it to short. That's Pete Orr. He charges, throws on the run, and they get Pagan by a step. Carlos Beltran now. The wind up and the delivery from Quantrill is hit on the ground to LeBlanc. LeBlanc makes the throw to the first baseman, Lovato, and that will retire Carlos LeBeltran. Here's Carlos LeDelgado, and I'm sick of doing this already. Quantrill to Delgado, and that one is going to be to third. Koski fumbles it. No play. Delgado is safe on the air by Koski, and now Molina comes to the play with two outs and Delgado at first. Quantrill the stretch with Ivan Rodriguez on deck. Molina to left and deep. Back goes new left fielder, Josh Naylor. Warning track, wall, and it's gone. A two-run bomb for Molina. He's got all three. No, he's got three of the four RBIs in this game. Uh, no, I'm wrong. He's got all four RBIs in this game. Four team Puerto Rico. It's 4-1 Puerto Rico. David DeJesus comes to the plate. Quantrill winds and deals to DeJesus, and that is taken for a ball. Uh, excuse me, Rodriguez is at the plate, and that's going to be a base hit for Rodriguez to right field. It drops in front of Saunders. Rodriguez takes first. These third inning runs are unearned due to the error by Corey Koski, but Puerto Rico is still going to take the runs. DeJesus up now, Rodriguez at first. The pitch from Quantrill is ball two. Next delivery, chopped on the infield. Off Quantrill's glove, everybody's going to be safe. It's an infield hit for DeJesus. Two on with two outs now for Baez. Jesse Crane is ready in the Canadian bullpen. Quantrill the stretch, the pitch to Baez. Hey, struck him out. He got him with a bender. That's the second strikeout for Quantrill. And ends the Puerto Rican third inning. They get two runs, however, on three hits. They leave two. And after three complete, it is Puerto Rico four and Canada one. All right. Team Canada with some work to do. We're in the fourth inning. Saunders, Tayan, and Koski coming up against Santiago. This is Hector's last inning of work. And in the Team Puerto Rico bullpen, it's uh, Pedro Feliciano is starting to throw. And it looks like he's going to take over as the next pitcher. He's a left-hander. We'll see what happens there. Michael Saunders leads off. He is 0 for 1. The pitch from Hector Santiago is strike three looking. Saunders gets to go grab some bench. That's Hector's first strikeout. Done a good job. Only one run, one hit only in the three and a third he's worked. The pitch to Tayan. And it's a hanger as soon as I say that to Mark Tayan. This one's going to get in the gap and off the wall. Pagan gloves it and throws it back in. Tan with a double. Corey Koski comes up. LeBlanc is on deck. Santiago the stretch and the pitch to LeBlanc. Or to Koski. Sorry. His strike three swinging. He got him on some cheese. And with two outs, it'll be LeBlanc. 
Canada could use that run that's out there on second base. Santiago the stretch, the pitch popped up. Molina under it. He's going to take it for out number three. Canada's turned away in the fourth. A one-out double turns into nothing. Hector Santiago's day is done. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Puerto Rico four, Canada one. Here comes the last inning for Cal Quantrill. He'll face Hernandez, Correa, and Pagan in the bottom of the fourth. He kicks and deals to Hernandez. Ground ball to third. Koski gloves it by the third base bag and fires across the infield to Joey Votto for out number one. Here's Correa. Quantrill winds and deals to Correa, and it's to center and deep. Back goes uh, Mark Tayen, warning track, wall, and it's gone. 5-1 Puerto Rico on a bomb from Correa. Pagan comes up now, one for two. The delivery from Quantrill is a hanger to Pagan. This will be extra bases bouncing around in center field. Running it down is Tan. Pagan around second, heading for third. The relay is late. Pagan is in with a triple. And that's going to be it for Cal Quantrill. He was not helped much by his defense. He goes three and a third innings, allows four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits. Two of them were homers. He didn't walk anybody, but he did strike out two. Uh, five runs have scored. So far, three are earned. Pagan is his responsibility at third base. Jesse Crane pitched for Team Canada in 2006, as you can see at the top of his card. He is an A-grade pitcher with no modifiers. He's a right-hander. He's facing Beltran. Canada's infield is going to play in here with one out in the bottom of the fourth. 5-1 Puerto Rico is our score. All right, Crane going to work from the stretch to Beltran. Delgado on deck, the pitch. Is past Pete Orr. Because he was playing in, it gets into left field. Pagan will score. It's 6-1 Puerto Rico. You play in and sometimes you get burned. And that time was one of those times. Crane facing Delgado now with Molina on deck. The pitch to Delgado. Is a base hit to left. Naylor will charge and collect it. Beltran stops at second. Molina comes to the plate. He is two for two with four ribbies in this game. Double play depth for Canada's infield. Crane the stretch and the delivery to Molina is going to be... Hit back to Jesse Crane, and he fumbles at it. Rolls away, and everybody's going to be safe on an E1. The bases are loaded with Team Puerto Rico. Rodriguez comes to the plate. Infield in again for Canada. 6-1 Puerto Rico, and they're threatening for more. The stretch and the delivery from Crane is swung on by Rodriguez. Crane gloves it. It's a comebacker. Crane goes home to Russell Martin for the force out, and that's all they're going to get. Beltran is forced one to two. The other runners move up. Delgado to third, Molina to second, and Rodriguez to first. With two outs now, it's De Jesus. Infield moves back to normal depth. Crane the stretch and the delivery to De Jesus. is hit to Pete Orr at short. He's going to go the short way to LeBlanc, and that will retire the side. But Puerto Rico gets two more on four hits. They leave two. 
Team Canada's defense rears its ugly head again. And we go to the fifth with your score, Puerto Rico 6, Canada 1. We're going to get a new pitcher, uh, as we have to. For Team Puerto Rico, it's Pedro Feliciano. He pitched for Team Puerto Rico in 2009. And he is a left-hander. He's a C-grade pitcher with a Y modifier. He's got Orr, Martin, and Votto, 9-1-2 in his future for Team Canada. All righty. Pete Orr, Feliciano kicks and deals. And Orr hits this one to third base. Jose Hernandez to his left, gloves it, plants, and throws to Ivan Rodriguez for out number one. Russell Martin now is 0 for 1. He drove in Team Canada's run back in the third inning. The pitch from Feliciano to Martin is taken for a ball. The next delivery is hit on the ground to short. Carlos Correa fires to Ivan Rodriguez for out number two. Joey Votto comes to the plate. Votto is 0 for 2. The delivery. Hit in the air to right. Oh, I got Naylor coming up. It should be Votto. And it's hit in the air to right. Under it is Beltron. Over by the foul line. He's got it for out number 3. We're halfway through this one. It's Puerto Rico 6 and Canada 1. WBC Cards are how we're doing this tournament. Available from Chris White. His email is vsusports23 at gmail.com. If you want to just purchase the cards outright, it's $81 for the set. You get the cards, eight teams, 28 players per card, per team, sorry, and eight envelopes, an envelope for each team with the logos. $81 shipped. Chris's PayPal is vsusports at yahoo.com. All of this information is in the description of this video. You can check that out there, as is information about channel membership. All right. Javi Baez, Jose Hernandez, and Carlos Correa, 891, coming in the Puerto Rico order. In the bullpen for Team Canada is Jim Henderson. He is throwing. All right, Baez leads it off. Crane kicks and deals. It's hit to right. Saunders is there in right center, and he's got it for out number one. Jose Hernandez comes to the plate. Crane kicks and deals. Ground ball hit to Pete Orr. He cuts it off from going up the middle, makes a nice play to Votto at first, and there's two away. Carlos Correa comes up now. He's two for three with a bomb last inning. The pitch is ball four. He walked him. Jesse Crane wanted no part of Carlos Correa, and here's Angel Pagan, also two for three. Carlos Beltran would be next. Crane sets and the delivery is swung on by Carlo, by uh, Angel Pagan, and it's bounced to third. Corey Kosky gloves it and goes the short way to LeBlanc, and that will retire the side in the Puerto Rico fifth. We go to the sixth. Puerto Rico six and Canada one. In inning number six, Pedro Feliciano will work his second inning. He's going to face Naylor, Freeman, and Saunders. A trio of left-handed batters. This is Canada's meat of the order. The pitch from Feliciano to Naylor is taken for a strike. The next delivery is a base hit for Naylor in his first at bat in the tournament. And a leadoff single for Team Canada in the sixth. That's going to get Puerto Rico's bullpen cooking again. And it's going to be a 
Xavier Cedeno and Edwin Diaz. Lefty righty double barreled action in the Puerto Rico bullpen. Freddie Freeman at the plate. Feliciano the stretch and the delivery, and it's a hanger to Freeman. Did he get it? It's to right and deep, and it's going to be off the wall. Beltron's got to run it down. Going to third and stopping there will be Josh Naylor. Canada's got runners at second and third and Michael Saunders coming up. Puerto Rico is going to play the infield at normal depth. They are up by five here in the top of the sixth. This may be Feliciano's last batter. Saunders... At the plate, Feliciano the stretch and the delivery to Michael Saunders is bounced to Correa at short. He takes it to his left and fires to Rodriguez at first for one out. Naylor scores from third. Freeman goes to third and it's 6 2, Puerto Rico. Mark Tayen comes to the plate. Corey Koski would be next. Uh, no, he will be next. Actually, uh, Tayen is one for two. Is one for one. Feliciano the stretch and the delivery is a hanger to Tayen. This is gonna be out of here to right field for Tayen. And all of a sudden, it's 6-4, Puerto Rico. And that's going to do it for Pedro Feliciano. A three-run explosion by Canada in the sixth. And that will do it for Pedro Feliciano. Corey Koski is coming to the plate. Xavier Cedeno, the left-hander, is going to take over. In the sixth. So we have a lefty-lefty matchup. Feliciano goes a one and a third innings. Allows three hits. One of them a homer. Three runs. And didn't walk or strike out anybody. Cedeno pitched for Puerto Rico in 2013. He is a B pitcher with a Y modifier. He's facing Koski. So he goes up to an A for this batter. The pitch... Is hit in the air to left. David DeJesus in left center is going to make the catch. For out number two, LeBlanc comes up now. Nobody on. Two outs. Cedeno, the stretch and the delivery to LeBlanc. And hey, got him on the cheese. That retires Canada in the sixth. But they get three on three hits. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Six, four. Puerto Rico. Rain goes an inning and two-thirds. He allows two hits. He walked one, didn't strike anybody out, didn't allow any runs. Jim Henderson, the former Brewer and Red Sox, takes over. Uh, he pitched for Team Canada in 2013, and he is a B-grade pitcher with XY modifiers. He will face Beltran, Delgado, and Molina in the sixth, looking for a shutdown inning. 6-4 Puerto Rico. We got a good one. The pitch is hit in the air to center. This is Mark Tan, and he's got it for out number one. Carlos Delgado is one for three. Henderson deals. It's hit to center. High but not deep. Tan is there, and there's two away. Yadi Molina comes to the plate. He's two for three. The pitch. Molina with a base hit. This goes to center field. Tian collects it. Throws it back in. And Rodriguez comes to the plate. Yvonne takes the first pitch. And there goes Molina. The throw from Russell Martin down to LeBlanc is late. And Molina sneaks a stolen base. And he's in scoring position now for Yvonne Rodriguez who's down in the count 0-1. The delivery from Henderson to Rodriguez is going to be 
bounce to short. This is or he gloves it and goes to Joey Votto for out number three. That retires Puerto Rico in the sixth. We go to the seventh. Puerto Rico six, Canada four. And are we going to get a new pitcher here? Uh, Sedania is going to face Orr to lead off the seventh. In the Puerto Rico bullpen, it's Edwin Diaz and Javier Lopez throwing. More lefty-righty double-barreled action. The Puerto Rico starting staff isn't the best, but the bullpen is tough. The pitch from Sedano to Orr is hit in the air to center. Under it is Angel Pagan for out number one. And that is not going to do it. They're going to leave him in. Sedano to Russell Martin. Hit to center. Back a few steps is Pagan, but he's got room, and he takes it for out number two. Joey Votto now. Sedano the stretch and the delivery, and Votto hits it to center and deep. Back goes Pagan, warning track, wall, and it's gone. 6 5, Puerto Rico now. Canada keeps coming after you. And here's Josh Naylor, and that's going to do it for Sedano. They're going to go with Lopez. Javier Lopez takes over on the mound in the seventh with two outs. Lopez pitched for Puerto Rico. Let's tell you about Cedeno, first of all. He goes an inning and a third, allows a hit. It was a home run and struck out a man. He allowed a run. It was earned. Lopez pitched for Puerto Rico in 2009. He's a lefty A-grade pitcher with no modifiers. He's facing Naylor. Puerto Rico leads by a run. The pitch. Hey, struck him out and that. Retires Canada in the seventh. It's time to stretch them out. We got a good one. After six and a half, Puerto Rico six, Canada five. Henderson is out for his second inning, and it's De Jesus, Baez, and Hernandez coming in the Puerto Rico seventh, the bottom third of the order. Henderson to De Jesus, chopped on the infield. Rolling toward Koski, but he's got no play, and DeJesus is aboard with a leadoff single. Here's Javi Baez. Canada's going to get their bullpen going again. Uh, and it's going to be Cormier, the lefty, and Axford, the righty. Lefty-righty, double-barreled Canadian action in the bullpen. Javi Baez is one for three. Jose Hernandez... On deck, the pitch. And Hernandez strikes, I'm sorry, Baez strikes out swinging on a Henderson bender, and there's one down. Here's Jose Hernandez. He is 0 for 3 in this game. Henderson, the stretch, the delivery to Jose Hernandez. Base hit. Goes to right. Are they going to wave to Jesus? Mm, yes, they will. So there are Team Puerto Rico at the corners, and now Correa comes to the plate, and uh, they're going to go to the bullpen. Uh, no, they're not. Nah, yes, they are. They're going to go to Axford here. Another former brewer. Axford, or Henderson, excuse me, goes an inning and a third, allows three hits, strikes out a man, doesn't allow any runs. Axford is a C-grade pitcher. He pitched for Canada. In 2013, he's a C-grade pitcher with XW modifiers. Correa is up. Axford improves to a B. 
Pagan is at the plate. The infield is in for Team Canada. The pitch is ball four. He walked him, and that's not the worst thing maybe in the world. More action in the Canadian bullpen. Cormier is still throwing. He's joined now by Nick Pivetta. Infield is going to play in. Pagan is at the plate. One out. The delivery by Axford to Pagan. Hey, struck him out, and that was a big one. That may be a game saver for Team Canada right there as Pagan goes down swinging. Two gone. Beltran comes to the plate. And how do they want to play this? They're going to leave Axford in. Axford the stretch and the pitch to Beltran. Is popped up on the infield. Joey Votto in fair territory is going to make the catch. And that will retire Puerto Rico in the bottom of the seventh. Ooh, that's a big bullet to dodge there. Puerto Rico loaded the bases with one out, and they did not score. We go to the eighth with your score, Puerto Rico six, Canada five. In the Puerto Rico bullpen, more lefty-righty double-barreled action. Roberto Hernandez and Alex Claudio are throwing. We're in the top of the eighth. Canada trails six to five. They are at bat. It's Freeman, Saunders, and Tan against Lopez for the moment. The pitch and a base hit for Freddie Freeman. Lead off single. There's the tying run in this game, potentially. And Michael Saunders comes to the plate. Lopez takes a deep breath. The pitch to Saunders, who's 0 for 3, is hit on the infield. Knocked down by Rodriguez, but it rolls away from him. Freeman will stop at second. It's an infield hit. Two are on, nobody out, and here's Tan. Well, what do you do here? Uh, <laughs> they're going to leave Lopez in. This may be his last batter. And the delivery from Lopez to Tan, he squares to Bunt. And he bunts it right back to Javi Lopez, who gloves it and tosses to Baez covering first, and that will advance the runners to second and third. It's Freeman at third and Saunders at second. Those are the tying and go-ahead runs on base. Corey Koski is up now. Puerto Rico is going to play their infield in. Top of the eighth, 6-5. Puerto Rico leads. Tying run at third. Go ahead, run at second. Lopez, the stretch. The pitch to Koski. Hit in the air to right. Is it deep enough is the question. Under it is Beltran. He will make the catch. Tagging at third is Freeman. He's coming home. Tagging at second is Saunders. The throw goes through. And Freeman scores. We're tied at six. Saunders goes to third. On the play, LeBlanc is due. 6-6 six, six game. We're in the top of the eighth. LeBlanc is due, and I think we're going to get a pinch hitter. We are. It's going to be Justin Morneau. All right. Chance for Team Canada to take the lead. The go-ahead run is 90 feet away, but there are two outs. We are going to get a new pitcher for Team Puerto Rico, and it's going to be Alex Claudio. So Lopez goes one full inning. He allows two hits, one run. He strikes out a man, didn't walk anybody. 
Claudio comes on. He pitched for Puerto Rico in 2017. He's a B-grade pitcher with a Z modifier, and he's on to face the left-handed batting Morno, so he goes up to an A grade for this batter. Pete Orr is on deck. Saunders at third. Claudio the stretch. The delivery is swung on by Morno, and it's hit in the air to right. Another chance for Beltran. He's got it. Four out, number three. So Morno doesn't come through, but the Canadians do. He's the rest of the team does. He's uh, they got one run on two hits and tie the ball game. We go to the bottom of the eighth with your score: Canada six, Puerto Rico six. You get these cards from Chris White. Here's another look at the envelopes. Two hundred and I got to do the math. And I got to take off my socks and shoes. 224 cards for the eight teams. 28 players per team. Eight envelopes. An envelope for each team as well. $81 shipped. Uh, Chris White's uh, PayPal account is vsusports at yahoo.com. All that info is in the description for this video. All right, it's 6-6. Six, six. We're in the bottom of the eighth. Axford is going to try and do another inning. He's got Delgado, Molina, and Rodriguez in his future. Pavetta and Cormier are ready in the Canadian bullpen. Delgado is one for four, the pitch. Base hit for Delgado, and we may see a pinch runner here for him. Molina comes to the plate. He's three for four. And we'll see if there's any wheels on that Puerto Rican bench. Alex Rios is going to run for Delgado. Former Blue Jay, former White Sox. Yadi Molina comes to the plate. Axford the stretch. Checks Rios at first. And the delivery home to Molina. He's not bunting, and it's hit to second. The brand-new Canadian second baseman, Abraham Toro, gloves it. He goes to Orr for one, and the relay, Tavato, is in time. For a rally-killing, soul-crushing 4-6-3 double play turned by Team Canada. And there are now two outs. In the bottom of the eighth, here comes Rodriguez. With nobody aboard, Ivan Rodriguez is one for four in this game. Axford deals. Hey, struck him out on a bender, and Axford had a good one. We go to the ninth. No, nothing across for Puerto Rico in the eighth. We go to the ninth. Canada 6, Puerto Rico 6. Claudio is done after a third of an inning. Coming on is Roberto Hernandez, who pitched for Puerto Rico in 2006. He's a right-hander, an A-grade pitcher with a Y modifier. He'll face Orr and then Martin and then Votto in Canada's ninth inning. We're knotted at 6. The delivery from Hernandez is going to be a hanger to Orr. Did Pete Orr get it? This one is going to be in the gap. It's going to get between Pagan and Beltran. Pete Orr with a ninth inning leadoff double. Yikes. Russell Martin comes up now. 0-3. Oh Hernandez in a jam. Lead run is on at second base with nobody out in the ninth inning. Canada was down in this game. Six to one. They have tied it six to six. And here in the ninth, they have a chance to take the lead. Hernandez, the stretch and the delivery. Hit in the air to center. Pagan is under it. Is Orr going to tag? No, he will hold. Pagan makes the catch. And there's one away. Joey Votto comes to the plate now. 
Josh Naylor is on deck. Votto is one for four. Hernandez the stretch, the delivery to Votto. <coughs> Popped up, drifting into foul territory. Jose Hernandez has it for out number two. Last chance this inning, maybe. Josh Naylor, Freddie Freeman would be next. Naylor came on when Jason Bay went out due to an injury back in the third. Hernandez, the stretch and the pitch to Naylor. And there goes Orr for third base. Molina fires down to Hernandez, and the throw is late. Oh, Pete Orr is lucky he was safe on that one. Ooh, -wee. you do not want to get thrown out trying to steal third with two outs, but he got away with it. Naylor's still up there. Hernandez, the stretch, the delivery. Is popped up. Under it is Correa, and he's got it for out number three. So Hernandez gets out of the mess in the ninth inning. Nothing across for Canada. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Canada six, Puerto Rico six. John Axford saved the game so far for Canada with one and a two one and two thirds innings of work. He allowed a single, a walk. He struck out two. He didn't allow any runs. But when the chips were down, he shut down Puerto Rico's offense in the bottom of the seventh. Eric Gagne, the closer for Canada, is on. He pitched for Canada in 2006. He's a B-grade pitcher with XYZ modifiers. He's going to face De Jesus and then maybe Baez and maybe Hernandez. Any old kind of a run is going to win it now for Team Puerto Rico in the bottom of the ninth. De Jesus leads it off. He's two for four. Gagne, the stretch and the delivery is to center. Dying quail. Here comes Tan, and he's got it for out number one. Javi Baez is one for four. Are they going to hit for him on the Puerto Rico bench? Hmm. <laughs> They're going to let him bat. Gagne the stretch. Baez, one for four. The pitch. Hey, struck him out. Two gone. Jose Hernandez Dewey's being called back. Bernie Williams is going to bat for him. Hernandez ends his evening one for four. Bernie Williams with two outs. Correa would be next. Gagne the stretch. The delivery is ball four. He walked him. If Correa hits a gapper, well, are we going to get a runner? Yes, we are. Bayerga is going to run for Williams. So Bayerga takes over at first base. Correa comes to the plate. He is two for three with a pair of walks. Gagne the stretch, the delivery to Correa. And there's a base hit for Correa. Bayerga is on his horse. And going to right field. It's uh, Saunders' throw to third is late. And Bayerga's on at third base with two outs. Pagan comes to the plate with a chance to win the game. The winning run is 90 feet away. And Gagne takes a deep breath. Bayerga at third. Correa's run doesn't mean anything, but he's at first base. There's two outs. Pagan at the plate. He's two for five. Beltran would be next. The pitch from Gagne. Hey, struck him out, and we're going to have an extra inning ball game today. In the ninth, Puerto Rico gets a hit. They leave two. They don't score. We go to the tenth with your score, Canada six, Puerto Rico six. Roberto Hernandez is done after an inning of work. He allowed a hit, didn't strike or walk out anybody, or walk anybody. He did not allow a run. 
Taking over in the 10th for Puerto Rico is Edwin Diaz. He pitched for them in the 2017 tournament. He is a B pitcher with XYZ modifiers. He'll face Freeman, Saunders, and Tan in the 10th. 6-6 six, six game. We got a good one. The winner clinches a playoff spot. The pitch is hit to right and deep. Back goes Beltron. Warning track. Wall gone for Canada at 7-6. Edwin Diaz gives up the lead. All right. Ryan Dempster starts to throw in the bullpen for Team Canada. And coming to the plate is Michael Saunders. Diaz deals to Saunders. Saunders swings and hits this one to Correa at short. He's up with it and fires to Hernandez for out number one. Carlos Baerga stayed in the game. He is at third base. Mark Tea now, one out. The pitch. Ground ball to Baez at second. He gloves it to his left, cuts it off from going into right field, and throws to Rodriguez at first for out number two. Corey Koski now. Koski is 0 for 3. The pitch. Hey, struck him out, and that will end the Canadian 10th inning. But they get a run on the bomb from Freeman. We go to the bottom of the 10th. Puerto Rico's got some work to do. Your score, Canada 7, Puerto Rico 6. Dempster will be on for the save attempt. No one is working in the Team Canada bullpen. So it's all on Dempster. Gagney pitched an inning, a lot of hit, a walk, struck out two, and didn't give up any runs. Dempster pitched for Canada in 2006. He's an A pitcher in relief. He has a W modifier. He's got Beltran Rios, who ran for Delgado back in the eighth, and Molina coming up. Four, three, four, five hitters in Team Puerto Rico's lineup. 7-6 Canada, here we go. The pitch. Hey, struck out Beltran. One down in the 10th. Alex Rios at the plate. Dempster kicks and deals. This is a comebacker to Dempster. He takes a couple steps toward Joey Votto and throws him the ball for out number two. Here's Yadi Molina. Three for five, the last chance saloon. Yvonne Rodriguez would be next. The delivery. Hey, struck him out, and Team Canada clinches a playoff berth. Boy, if you saw that coming, you're a better man than I. Let's give you the totals on this one. For the visiting and victorious Canadians, seven runs on two, four, six, eight, ten base hits. And they committed one. How many errors? One, two, two errors. But their bullpen was tough from the fourth inning on. Their bullpen gave up no runs. Team Puerto Rico had this game 6-1 to one and let it get away. They have six runs on 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 base hits. Yikes. They had chances to bury them, and they didn't do it. No errors. Winning pitcher, Eric Gagne. He is 1-0. Oh. The loss goes to... Diaz, he is 0-1, and the save goes to Dempster, his first. Uh, let's take a look at the standings before we depart. All right, so Canada picks up their second win. Puerto Rico gets a loss. 
So in Pool A, Canada clinches a playoff spot because they can't be passed by more than two teams, even with a tiebreaker. Uh, Canada's last game will be against Team Mexico. Mexico needs a win, uh, or they may not. If Puerto Rico beats the U.S., then U.S. ends up with three losses, and Canada, Puerto Rico, and Mexico would all make it. So it'll be Puerto Rico versus the U.S., Canada versus Mexico, in our third and final game, and then we figure out the playoffs after that, whoever makes it. The way that will work is the second and third place teams in Pool A will play off one game, and that winner will go play the first place team in Pool B, and the reverse is also true. The second and third place teams in Pool B play off, get one game, and they will play the first place team in Pool A, which right now looks like it will be Canada, but it might not. Puerto Rico, uh, no, Mexico could catch them uh, with a win in the last game. They could take first place, force Canada to second, and then one of these two teams would be in third. All right, enough babbling. Don't forget to check out the description for this video for purchase information for this set, $81 shipped. I'm having a blast with the World Baseball Classic. I think you would too. Check it out. Chris White's email is vsusports23 at gmail.com. His PayPal account is vsusports at yahoo.com. And don't forget to include your mailing address with your information. Have a great evening. I enjoyed this one. Your final. Canada 7. Puerto Rico 6. We'll see you soon. So long, everybody.